Hey, greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Axe, and happy Friday. I'm just kidding. It's not Friday. It's actually Monday when this will be going up. Right now, it is 12.50 a.m. on Monday, and I get to wake up early for work. But, you know, um, I'm somebody who I've said it before, and I keep saying it, I know, over and over, but I enjoy doing YouTube videos. So, you know, it's not like... Yeah, you know, I'm. You know, I can't put them up every day all the time, but uh, I, you know, it's something I enjoy doing and I like to do. So I decided to do that for tonight. But I'm really late on this week's Team Fortress Friday. If you're new to the channel, I'll give you a bit of a down low on what this show is, which is episode 51, by the way. Cool little fact. Uh, anyways, Team Fortress Friday is a show where every Friday, or if I'm a bit over, uh, I take a topic suggested by the community from the week before. I talk about it and. I just uh, give my advice or my opinions or just my thoughts on it and uh, the hope is that it resonates something with you or maybe it makes you realize something you'd already know or maybe you know you're just curious about you know what someone else's opinion is whatever it is I hope you find it and if you don't uh, thanks for you know stopping by it's kind of a cool fun show and uh, all anyways I need to hop to it this week's TFF shout out goes to Michael oh my gosh I'm gonna butcher this Tosato Tosato Tos Tosado. I'm just gonna go with Tosado. X. Just recently, Saints Row 4, among other games, are refused classification in Australia. This means it's too bad to even score an R18 rating here. Therefore, I'm gonna ask you to do a TF, well, Team Fortress Friday on restrictions and ratings, because a game can't be so bad that grown adults can't play it. And so, obviously, first off, if you are in Australia, I am. I'm so. I'm so sorry to hear about this. Um. Not that I have a burning desire for Saints Row 4, but just the sense of that restriction is taking place. Something that, uh, you know, really isn't needed. And I'll go into this why. Because as this person has stated, you know, as Michael, I should say, has stated, um, you know, grown adults, you know, there's kind of, I know there's that mentality, well, I'm, a, I'm an adult, I can do what I want. But really, the point is, is that, um, you know, what game someone plays is really up to them and doesn't... You know what? It doesn't affect others. Is the big thing. It's one thing if someone says like, you know, I, I'm an adult. I can just you know snort a mountain of cocaine and drink this entire uh, fountain of beer and then I'll go drive. You know that that's that affects people. That is the opportunity to cause problems. But uh, playing a video game, you know, despite whatever it is, especially you said video game is allowed in other regions of the world. Um, not to make it a we're better than you because really it's whoever wants to play it you know it's not like it's forced upon the people you know it's not like australia's like well we have a higher standard here so you know we need to no no like why my thought on it is that that's ridiculous you know everything even here there's unrated things which just means you know like at your own risk you know it basically means like hey we're not gonna you know get involved with what it should be and all but you know we're, we're just gonna let that there in case anyone wants it, you know, in case anyone needs it, anyone wants it, and as you say, you know, it, it's, it's ridiculous to expect a grown adult to be like, you can't play this game, it's too violent for you, you know, it, it's almost a bit, um, immature and condescending in ways, but, um, my opinion is that, you know, restrictions and ratings are there to just tell people what, you know, is and isn't appropriate for them, and I realize that, that's the case, but, you know, I, I'm sorry, if you're 18 and you're allowed to do all these things that society does, you know, what is a video game onto that? You know, it, it's nothing. I think it's ridiculous. I'm kind of going around the bush here, but just honestly, I, you know, I, I don't get it. I think that you make your own choices in life. You as people make your own choices, and those affect you. And playing, an, a, you know, I'm just going to be honest here, playing an unrated video game is one of the tamest things you can do to your life. Like, honestly, I mean, think about it. There are people out there who are on the streets every night because they're addicted to drugs or, you know, uh, alcohol or a combination. Or, you know, there are people out there who have no one in... You know what I mean? Like, out of everything that's, you know, impossible, it's so small on the scale of things that can happen. And to me, it's ridiculous to think that you can stop that because the biggest thing with people if you tell someone they can't do something they're gonna want it no or they're gonna want to do it more i mean you know how many people um i, th I want to think of his uh, the name of him uh he wrote a book called the absolute true diary of a part-time indian 
and I forget his name. I really, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, what his author name was? It was a good book, but he, uh, it, there were a few things banned in it, and one of them was it was either one of his other books or something. But a word got blotted out, or like something was banned, and they asked him, "Was like, oh, what are your feelings on this?" He's like, "Well, you just made that word." like a hundred times more powerful and it's true when we black something out or we censor it or we say you can't do this it makes it that much more important to us it it gives it this meaning and this like well why can't we see it you know and that's how people are so ironically in an attempt to censor people we're making them more curious and more you know because then suddenly it's like wait who are you to tell me i can't play saints row 4 you know and that it backfires and so to me in the long thing of the long idea of things it's kind of pointless you know it's just kind of you know it is what it is and i mean there are some extreme you know that there could i will say that you could probably make a game bad enough for adults not to play but anyways i, I gotta wrap it up Anyways, guys, if you have a topic for next week post in the comments below nothing political or religious please like to keep the show fun and stuff it was guys have an amazing day i hope you enjoy and yeah sorry to be late but i'll try to pump out more videos so anyways have a great day bye and for the 50th there was something about this i wanted to discuss and that's the idea of living and i know that's such a broad topic and especially on a show like this um you don't have enough time to ever go into every detail but just the idea of living and you know the cliche saying uh,